I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Sorry if it's a little dark in here. I'm in the truck. I'm uh, going to be going into my dojo this morning. Get some training on. And uh, I want to say something. I haven't done a rant in a while, like I said. But you want to know something? I'm getting really, really sick and tired of people running around out there talking shit disrespecting our flag, disrespecting our military, disrespecting all those men and women who, who give up everything so you could wake up in the morning and take a deep breath and breathe oxygen and be alive. You know, I really wish that people would get through their damn heads, that people would stop saying shit and running their mouths about things they know nothing about. I can't take it much longer. I mean, I, I'm amazed that more people haven't snapped and started punching these little assholes out that are running around bad mouth in the military. You don't believe in war? All right, fine. You don't want to back our troops? You don't want to back the people, the men and women that lay down their lives? That, that take that, that, I mean, these people put their lives at risk every day. Some have put them at risk, some have lost them. So you could just breathe. So you could live with all the freedoms you've got. And you know, all these little sissies are hanging out there, these spineless pieces of garbage. You know, why don't you try, uh, why don't you try joining the military, huh? Why don't you try to find out what it's all about before you run around talking a whole bunch of shit? Why don't you realize the only reason you're able to talk shit is because there's people willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. You know, you ever sit there and you want to think about just the people that, that are making ultimate sacrifices in the military, you ever think about how much that these people's families have to sacrifice so your family can be safe? All the, the, the husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, mothers, aunts, uncles, everybody sitting at home either mourning over the loss of a loved one or sitting at home anxious waiting for their loved one to come home. Why? Because they can't get to go without their father or daughter or, or son or, or, or husband, or wife. They go without them for, for weeks, months, years sometimes at a time, sometimes permanently, just so you can live the life you live. It makes me fucking sick that people have the balls, these spineless little bastards have the balls to talk shit about our military. You know what? You ain't got no real spine because you know something? I don't see you walking up to a seasoned combat veteran and saying, hey, you know what? I don't like you. Shit. I don't like the military. You probably want to do that because you're a giant bitch, you people that are talking this crap, hiding behind your computers, hiding behind your, your constitutional right to free speech and hiding behind the law that protects you from other people punching your damn lights out from running your stupid mouth. You know why you can run your stupid mouth? Because of the damn military. Because this is a free country. You don't like you don't like the United States of America? Pack your bags, get on a plane, boat, jet ski, get the hell out of this country then. Get out. I'm tired of waking up every day. I watch the news. I, I go on the internet and there's other some other asshole, some other righteous group talking about how they hate the United States and what's wrong with this country. You know what's wrong with this country? You idiots that run around saying there's so much wrong with this country. Yeah, is it, are we perfect here? No. Is there things wrong with our country? Sure, there are. But you know what? Try Go try living in some of these other third world countries. You think it's so freaking bad here. Why do you think everybody's freaking breaking the law, hopping the border, trying to run here? You know, oh, well, we should, we should, we don't need the wall. We shouldn't, we should open the world, world with open arms. Really, we should open the world with open arms? Tell you what, then you tell you what, you go sleep in the criminal elements areas. I'll tell you that, okay? How about that? How about you let all the people that are coming in sleep with you? How about you realize how much money that costs taxpayers? Oh, that doesn't matter, right? Because we've got to heal the world. How about looking out for your own, for your own country? How about looking out for your people in your own damn country? Support your freaking military. Support your country. You don't like the president that's here? Okay, maybe you don't. But if you don't like the president that's here, you know, you know, you don't have to like him, you don't have to love him, but you damn sure should realize he's the president, he's the leader of your country. That's the way it is. You're not gonna pack, you're not gonna, you know, take, take, your, take your balls out of your handbag and realize that, hey, you know what? 
it is what it is. I live in this country. I'm going to support my country. I'm going to support my military. That's the way you people should be. Not running around crying and talking crap about our military. Talking crap. People People that I, I, I don't even want to. I've lost family members. I've lost friends. And I currently have friends and family members that are still serving. And every time I see somebody open their mouth like that, you're disrespecting them. And all that they do for this country and all they do so you can you have the right to disrespect them is because of them. Remember that when you're running your mouths. Anyway, that's it for today. So everybody out there, please, I beg of you, support your military. Stand by your country. Stand by the men and women out there risking their lives and losing their lives so you could live yours. All the men and women out there whose families are sitting home, waiting, wanting their family members to come home. Haven't seen them in months, years, weeks, whatever. Some that haven't come home. Think about that son or daughter that mother and father that they made an ultimate sacrifice in their own right they lost a son something they can't get back they lost a daughter a husband something they can't back get back so you could sit at home and watch TV so you could sit at home and enjoy that meal their lives will never be the same their lives are forever changed why? why? so you could live the free life that you live. Never forget these people. Never forget the families. Their family sacrificed a hell of a lot as well so you could live. Remember that. God bless you all. And uh, sorry it was a little split, but I had to get it off.